excuse me. Hmm? I'm sorry, did you say something to me? Hmm. And here I thought humans were a little bit more intelligent than this. Well, you see, I don't think you know exactly who I am, but in all the same, I don't know who you are. So we're at a crossroads. We don't know each other, but yet you decide to try to pick a fight with me. Maybe it's because of your blatant drunkenness, or you're actually a fool. I've had enough of your talking. Yes, gasp as I choke you out. The sight of a mere human being in all sorts of pain and torture brings me delight. Who am I? Well, I'm nothing more of a human than somewhat of a, uh, how would you say, demon of some sort. You could say I am the Demon King, or Lord. My name is Muzan. Now, if you will act calmly, I would like to have a conversation with you. There you are. I sobered you up a little bit, didn't I? Now, what I want to talk to you about is, quite frankly, a choice between living and dying. Because, see, if you decline my offer, then you leave me no choice but to eat you myself. Or, you can agree with me, agree to my offer, and I can give you all sorts of power. You will be immortal at that. Maybe, just maybe. I can give you a little bit of my blood, and you'll be a, my servant for the rest of your eternity. Or, i leave you dead here. It's your choice, really. Life or death. It's your choice. <laughs> I know humans are quite obedient once they have the face of fear in front of them. Something I quite enjoy. So, I didn't get your name. What is your name? Ah, I see. Very well then. I will give you a portion of my blood. And you'll feel your body transform into what it was, a pure human, changes its molecular form into a demon. A demon who has satisfactions that are needed to survive. If you want to become stronger as a demon, you must obey me and follow my instructions. You need blood to survive. That's your only source of nutrients, your food. All you can survive on is human flesh and blood. 
now that you are transforming into a demon. I'll leave you here in this back alley. No one will take a look at you, unless they're curious enough to find out what's making that utterable noise and that disgusting grumbling. Of course, everyone I've turned into a, a demon beforehand has gone an insatiable hunger. So if you do have any type of visitors, let them be your treat. Do not let them see or escape from what you are now. And you will report every single kill you get to me. If do I make myself clear or not? Well, speak up. That's what I thought. Now... I will be calling upon you in a month. I will be transporting you to my domain. My infinite castle. If you do not have the proper amount of blood nor bodies under your belt, I'll kill you where you stand. Because you'll be nothing but a useless bag of flesh and bones to me. And then I'll take my blood back by devouring you whole. Now, I want you to sit here and realize what you've become. You have sunk into the lowest of lows, and you chose the stronger side to choose from. You are now my slave, my demon. You are under my property. You are nothing but a pawn to me. Do I make myself clear? Very well. Now, I must get going, really. Because, well... I have others that I want to talk to more frequently to get more demons on my side. They seem strong enough to hold a gen generous amount of my blood. Although with you, you're morally uh, a pawn. Just to start an infection of some sort where they can't stop it. A mere bite, scratch, or even injection of my blood into a human rapidly change them if they're not ready to become one. But if they are ready, they'll change in no time. In a matter of five seconds flat, in a matter of fact. You are just the starting point of a bigger plan that I have. You will remember nothing of this night, only that you have succumbed to the lowest of lows and gained trust with demons. And you serve under my foot. Nothing else, nothing more. Very good. Obedient one you are. Well, I will see you in a month then, and you have everything I have wanted. You'll get more of my blood. A generous amount, if you could say. It will put you in the upper ranks of my demons. I surely hope you do not bring me down, or won't let me down. Because if you do, well, you know already. All right. Farewell.